otherwise off. Hi, everybody. We're just starting the um, <laughs> session now. <laughs> For all you <laughs> people that aren't, we've not done our chat. We've finished and chatted. So now we're going in. This is last week's work. Blah, 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 blah. Very nice too. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That I framed it up nice, I thought. Yeah, it looks lovely. I like that. Oh, yeah. That'd be a nice card. <clears throat> Thank you. Eileen Donnan. Who the heck was she? That's what I want to know. <clears throat> Who was Eileen Donnan? Don't know. I think it means something in Celtic or something. Oh, all right. Not I really it's like they built a castle for Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> Eileen Donnan's castle. That's Carol's. She's, That's nice. She's yeah. lost it. Yeah. Oh, we got some sky. From autumn to spring. <laughs> well, I did that in gouache and I thought, oh, no. Huh? <laughs> I did it in gouache paint rather than the watercolours. So, sorry, it's a bit greeny. <laughs> Springtime. It's trouble, yeah. with the, it's trouble with grass, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the hills, isn't it? <sighs> they made well, out of green grass. Well, that's good. That's nice. That's Chris's, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. I like the sky. I, I, I like the it's bit of water. Yeah. Mm. It was supposed to be the hills, not the sky. Oh. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> I thought it was the sky. I just realised. Mm. <laughs> it's very nice. Yeah. Mm. I didn't think that one easy at all. Um, no, no, I didn't really enjoy doing it. <laughs> very complex think, building. Well, it is, especially doing it freehand. You know, it's yeah. you know, it's not so easy. But hey, That's it was fun. Very well. Mm. Thank you. Nice colours. Mm. Get you out of your comfort zone. That's the main thing. Oh, this mm. was it. Yeah. yeah. I suppose no. I never thought. I never. Thought that that was sky. Now you mention it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I remember. I don't know, oh, that was that bloke, Dave. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good one. Who's his That's one? Gordon's old ones. That's, these are Gordon's oldies. Yeah. All oh, right. So I think that's the, they've been framed, so they're a bit dark. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. Guess he's painted it a few times then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did. He sent yeah. me two of the older ones. Yeah. I like that one. That's gorgeous. Mm. One Gosh. of his older ones. Mm. I've worked on into that one. Yeah. yeah, he does enjoy that castle. <laughs> yeah. That's his engineering mind doing yes. all the buildings. Yeah. And yeah, he's got I just find stuff. buildings quite hard. I never. Yeah, mm. I don't like buildings. No, I'd rather be doing that's animals thing, yeah. and flowers and things. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah, that's that's now. Gosh, that's almost that's three D. Is that he's snow? That snow on the hills. Uh, yeah, I suppose it's to bet. I'm not sure. <laughs> Could be, I suppose. Hmm. Just a mountain. Yeah, yeah again, it's very precise. Always choice. <laughs> we know you <laughs> Yeah, you can always recognise choices. Yeah, no, I <laughs> find it a bit tricky as well. Trees and vegetation and buildings. <laughs> oh. mm. <laughs> you always look good. So. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> I'm totally hooked on the webcam. Yeah. Sorry? I'm totally hooked on the webcam at Eileen Dillon. And uh, this morning they've had snow. I think. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely when it snows up there. It looks gorgeous. Mm. Lit up at night time. Hang on a sec. It's by the five sisters, I think they call the mountains. There's a massive oh. row yeah. of mountains that all get covered in snow and it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, like, hang on a sec. I'll stop this share and share that one. This is how it is at the moment. Oh gosh. 
Pretty, isn't it? Yeah, mm. Joy, Joyce pin, uh, snatched the um, their webcam. They've got a webcam. So yeah. There was a couple of men walking across the bridge when you first showed it. Mm -hmm. It's quite interesting to see it moving. Yeah. Says, yeah. I, was, <coughs> I, was, I was watching it for a little while, watching the, um, the water. I said, is it moving? Yeah, look, the water's moving. <laughs> <laughs> I think at the weekend the, the flag was actually blowing as well. Oh really? Yeah. I did notice on their um <coughs> on their website for bookings because you can book weddings and you know it's a bit like oh. um places in Dorset and um Morwood House or whatever it is. You can book it for wed weddings, but it did say they don't lock the bridge, so people can still, you know, you mm. don't get the total exclusivity. Mm. You can wander around the castle and that, but the bridge hasn't been um, <coughs> shut for 10,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> they don't shut the bridge. And... Um, I think today we, we should be in for a bit of a, do you reckon an early lunch? Yeah. <laughs> yes, if your Wi-Fi disappears, definitely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was called, it was on, um, it was just called Flower, uh, what was it? Flowers and Butterfly, I think. No, Flowers and Friends Butterfly. Mm. Didn't quite Ooh. get what that meant, but it was the friends then is that all the bugs that are in there? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I it confused me that I, I, I don't know. Well, the beetles inside the flowers, flowers and friends, yeah, green fly, um, <laughs> green fly. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Mm. Any ideas? I I splashed the background with blood, messed about with it. I think it's a bit brighter than that. I've, oh, is that all masking fluid? Yeah, I just because I wanted oh, to, yeah. I'd already drawn it and I thought, well, I'm not going to go through all that lark again. So I just <laughs> I put masking <laughs> fluid all over it. Um, like it Better to do the background first, isn't it? Then draw it on. That's what that is the option of, of if you're going yeah. to do that. Do that. Um, oh, I can't go through all that. Mine's not, I think mine's going off. I have it's gone sort of thick. It, can you put anything in it? What your masking fluid? Yeah, it's gone all sort of lobby. When you put it on, it all sticks to the brush. And... Oh, geez, you should dip the brush in water and then soak. I, I do, I do. Oh, right. oh. Can you water down the um water Not down? Well. The bit? I've never done oh. that. All right. I bought I how I long do they last? Because they don't use it very often, do we? You sort of I've know. never had it go off. It just it go hard, but <laughs> I've never had it go off. I always have a job to get the lid off and then it's all sort of sticky. <laughs> Yeah, but, well, that's good. At least it's working. You know, it's working. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, you're getting no sympathy, are you? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll pass on that one. <laughs> it is. It is. I don't like using it particularly, but sometimes there's just no way around it. See, that's dull, isn't it? <laughs> Well, I've just opened my masking fluid, which I have not <laughs> used for years. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And it's a big lump of... Oh. Lump of silicone. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh. Well, I've got it anyway. Let's see if I can pull it out. Oh. Oh, look, it's coming out. <laughs> yeah, that's what you call a lump. <laughs> yeah, goodness. Oh. 
well, I don't use it, so <laughs> it's been like that for years, probably. I'm surprised I got the lid off. Very strange. Well, I must admit, I'm at a, I'm at a, a quandary. Where I can't make up my mind what to do. It's unusual for me. Mm. We're still quite a bit in there. That's good. Right, as you were. Oh, it's a bit better now. It tinks. What I did do, well, shall I or shan't I? I was thinking of putting another wish of background on it, make it even more dramatic. I think I will. Here we go. I've got my hair dryer and a big brush, big flat brush. Well, I don't know. Do you know? I don't, yeah, I'm sure it's not just me, but sometimes I'll have a, I'll do something like this. Ooh, got this big brush. I'll do something like this and I'll think, something will come in my head like a colour or uh, mm. to do something to it and I think why where does that come from and I'll show you what I'm on my mind today is I'm going to make it I've got this big brush there I can easily dry it off quick can I hair dryer but these are the sort of things you do when you've got more time in it and you just sort of do a bit stop come back do a bit so mm. the color i had in mind was flesh i've got this well this pinky i've got flesh tone there and i've got this pinky flesh tone here and i don't know why i just thought I, it needs i'm just going to add that in it within the on top of what i've already done don't know why but it's going in. Just a neat colour. <coughs> I'm hoping, well, being watercolours, it should let the, the back ones come through a little bit. Could go mad and mix them madder and add some green into the background as well. Well, the green I've got, as we all know, is a blend of something. Viridian and hooker's green. And then add a little bit of raw sienna to it. Just, ooh, raw sienna's gone. It, oh, don't. I've stuck my finger in the blue paint. <laughs> and perhaps add a bit of that in, shall I? Bit of... Um, reality you shut your eyes if you like when you do this that way you get that <laughs> randomness don't you I'll try that <laughs> I do more well, wear dark glasses which I've taken off by the way just leave it at that I think I just thought it, it mm. needed a little bit of extra direction Ooh, that's a bit arty farty direction <laughs> um the other thing, the trouble is, once you start this malarkey, <coughs> it tends to go on. Burnt umber, bit of blue, because I'm, I'm just going to use my fan brush and drop in some so it's all start stem from the same colour. If you want some real, some extra randomness, just use the um, atomizer. I think the the flesh tone. I'll I'll keep going on about it, but it's a there's three. There's the flesh, the fleshy 
colours that come straight out of a tube. That one's called Mocha, believe it or not. That one's mm. a, a flesh. And that's June, which is the sand in some mm. quarters. But I keep harking back to them because they seem to be colours that you can add at any time to a picture. And it like there, it's, I put it in there and it sort of lifts, adds a mm. bit of... I don't know. Nice. I, I did it on um, the castle. Uh, where's that gone? Oops, fallen off in my bank. Let's put this back on. I, found, I did it on here on. Um, it might have been yesterday or the day before, and I started adding little bits of fleshy onto the castle bits. I thought it's, it definitely adds a little, it, when you're close up, it doesn't work, but from a distance, you can see it adds light, you know, a bit more, I don't know, what's the word? I hate the term, but it does make it pop. <laughs> you say that, don't you? Oh, gee, this makes it really pop, stand out. <laughs> They use it in cooking and everything. Then. Right, hair dryer. Dry, I have to dry it now, big time. Otherwise, I won't get the flipping masking fluid on. This might take a minute. Gotta get it dry, otherwise I can't rub it. Wow. It keeps alternating my fingers because it's flipping in it. Technical term, flipping. <laughs> ah, that was it. I'm not pressing very hard, I'm just rubbing, rubbing through it. Ooh, yeah. It's the friction on your finger as well, isn't it? <laughs> that makes it burn. Ah, oh, that was hot. Get the hoover out later. Not many there. Really there. Aha.
Got it. Got it. Got bits of silicone everywhere. Could be a Hoover afternoon. There you go. Finished. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I did a few weeks ago, I ordered some stick on butterflies. That's cheating. <laughs> So what I could do, of course, is <laughs> stick a few extra ones <laughs> in if I wanted to. These are English butterflies. And mm. I was looking at it last night and I, th I thought, oh, that one's pretty close, which is, um, that's a peacock, isn't it? Don't know. I thought well, that's pretty close to the one in the picture. So I thought I'd nick that. Where's it? I've gone in. I don't know where I've put the um, reference one. Then. Oh, it's under Eileen's castle. I was looking at it. I thought, hmm, pretty close. So I was going to use this one. Is a good. Well, the colours off a of one. I could say it's a British butterfly. Then can I? Seeing as I'm British, otherwise I'm going to take pot luck and use the colours in my palette. This can't, it's got to be an early lunch, this. The hard bit I said in my note was um, the sketch. Oh, what sort of yellow is that? Muted. Add a little bit of my um, rose matter. Got a bit of tissue, a bit of spare paper. Just dab a bit on the corner there, see what, how off it is. Hmm. Not bad. Okay. Go for that then. Somebody I met a bloke this morning out walking the dog. He said uh we were chatting like you do. What sort of dog's that? What sort of, is that a I said, it's a mix. He's a mix, this one. Oh, really? Yeah, bulldog and a shih tzu. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, it still makes me laugh, and I've said it about four times. I'm just using clean water here, as you can tell. Well, I'm in for... Well, it's supposed to be clean water, but it's yellow. <laughs> it came out a bit, a bit yellow. Mm. So, well, oh, hang on. I suppose a bit more, a bit more canny. I'd spot where. Nah, just go up for it. I didn't want, I wanted it to be slightly muted. So my, my palette, well, the colours in my palette accommodate that quite nicely. I'm just blocking it in for a minute. Set the scene for later. Hopefully, being watercolours, it will fade back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You probably can't hear it, but there's a load of building work going on over the road. Well, I think I think it's further further than over the road. It's a way a way away. Getting on my nerves there. Not much you can do though, is there? Ooh, see how bright that that rose matter is. It is just so. I just wanted to add a little bit of extra glow to this. I think I'm looking at the wrong butterfly. It's unusual. But the moral of the thing is, colour is irrelevant. Unless you're another butterfly. <laughs> Unless you're another butterfly talk, talking to another one. So what's that period, isn't it? Blocking in. Well, earlier on, they mixed up a dark. So... While it's all damp, I'll mix up a bit more burnt umber, blue. That was a hint of green, wasn't it? Not too much of that. I'll sit on the stool. See if I can manipulate some colour. In my mind's eye, oh, I want it, I'm trying to do it while it's wet because I want I want it to bleed. Just uh, I think. Yeah, because it's fuzzy, isn't it? On the if you pick up a butterfly. When you're a kid, they're all covered in powder. It's and if you pick them up too much in the powder company, I don't know if it's a myth, they couldn't fly. Mm. You took the the magic dust, I suppose. So I was hoping it would just sort of the one time that I want it to bleed. Not doing it. Never mind. It's got four on one side and three on the other. Trust me to pick a butterfly that's <laughs> got uneven patterns on it. That's just like me. Right? <laughs> Because it was a bit pale, so he's put some more colour on the background. Mm -hmm. Uncovered almost. Mm -hmm. Unless he included all the flowers. This is going to be exciting. <clears throat> Early lunch. Recording in progress. What was that? The recording in progress. Joy's gone. It looked like she joined again. Sorry, yes. Sorry, yes. Sorry, yes. Sorry, yes. Um, uh, someone's speaker. Someone's speaker, isn't it? I'm trying to leave my phone and go to the iPad. Ah, that's all right. Because my battery's nearly done. <laughs> Got scared for a minute. I thought, hello. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be noisy. <laughs> <laughs> Caught you out. Yeah. <laughs> you block it in with a these are. They are beautiful things though, aren't they? Mm. When we were kids you used to have the front garden would be full of them. 
now if I, if I met the back gardening and I see one it's like wow look at that <laughs> it's so much for intensive farming and building work I suppose can't blame Gary Glinnaker for that <laughs> We try. Wow. Get you know, where were <laughs> it was it was Gary that what done it. Could have been Gary Glitter. He was out for a bit. Mm. He's only down the road. He's in Port Portland, Portland, isn't it? Mm. The people in Bridgewater. Because I'm on there, some of them, some of my mates are still living there, sort of thing. They're all saying nasty things about Gary Glitter. Good, he's back in prison and that. And I'm thinking, yeah, we can say that. You in your, they've got him mm -hmm. back, you know, because that's he lives over that way. Well, when when uh, one of when the villages outside, <laughs> more Lynch or something stupid like that, and I thought. Oh, that's great. We got him back. You, <laughs> you only had him five minutes. <laughs> Horrible little man. I don't know him. I, I have met him. Um, he was uh, when I, some of the, when we were kids, we used to go to certain pubs on Pollock Manor, just outside Bridgewater. It was quite a well-known sort of haunt for us. And um, he used to come in there. He used to park his Rolls Royce at the front Ooh. and go in there. No. I never, I didn't think anyone took much notice of him, to tell you the truth. They, well, I certainly didn't. I was more interested in going in the disco and having a laugh myself. <laughs> but he obviously lived down the road, so he, he could be classed as his sort of local pick up joint but the girls there weren't that young well I suppose they would have been new I think I told you before that I got stuck in the lift with him did okay. you? not a happy experience <laughs> why did he did he try it on? no no <laughs> that wasn't why it wasn't happy <laughs> I definitely didn't want to no, it was um, um, in the lift going up to the Outlook nightclub in Bournemouth. Don't uh -huh. know if anybody remembers that one. No, um, it was sort of above the Cardinal. Wow. And uh, I, I, I'd got in the lift first, and then all of a sudden there was all this noise outside. Yeah. And the doors reopened, and he burst in, and there was all this rumpus going on. And it was, it was just me and him. And he said, oh, sorry, didn't know there was anybody in the lift. And I said, oh, that's right. I thought, well, who the hell are you? <laughs> and he had these huge platform sole shoes on because he was really short, really, really high platforms. And, oh, I don't know, he wasn't very nice. Anyway, there was a, a Miss Outlook competition going on as they had these things in those days back in the 70s. And... Um, those were days when maxi dresses were in fashion. I always remember I had a full length black halter neck maxi dress on. And um, anyway, didn't go in. I used to go every week. So it was nothing to do with the competition. So we sat down with all my friends and, and then he come on and he said, oh, what, oh no, these different girls were getting up and prancing around. And um, he said, and where's the lovely young lady in the long black dress? who shared the lift with me and I just slithered under the table. I thought, I don't want anything to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah. And then well, that, was a, that was a good, good move, Chrissy. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounded yeah. like a, that sounded like a, a pickup line. Well, yeah. A way of getting, a getting in line. <laughs> yeah. So I, I just sort of slithered on the table. My friends said, what are you doing over there? I said, shush. So the next stage <laughs> on with that would have been go up and meet him and or something like that. And then yeah. it would be, oh, 
well, you can come around for a drink at, at the back, like, you know. Mm. You don't even go there. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Sounds yeah, like I know too much, doesn't it, really? Even you can have really thick, thick sort of pancake makeup on and these really high platform shoes. Oh, he was horrible. <laughs> Didn't like him at all, which was just as well. Yeah, sounds like you. It was a lucky escape, mate. Mm. Of course, you can. <laughs> yeah. you could write a blog on that. Can you? My great escape. <laughs> great. No, I don't want to draw attention to the fact that I actually shared a lift with Gary Glitter. Thank you. <laughs> Not by choice. <laughs> wow. Mm. It was very popular because all these there were all these women outside the lift screaming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, scary. <laughs> it's a shame, really, because he did actually do some good music. It was all yes. jolly music, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Glee's bag behind it all. Leader of the gang and. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah, yeah, it was good get up and stomp stuff on it, you know. Yeah, everybody mm. used to go to um, New Year's Eve with Gary Glitter because of the music. Because he used to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did the bit for several years. Well, it was, <coughs> it was the classic yeah. gig, wasn't it, at Bournemouth? Yeah, yeah. Every year it was either Gary Glitter and the other one was Status Quo. Yeah. The two of they were the two sellout must go to yeah. gigs at Christmas time, weren't yeah. they? So he was really quite funny, wasn't he? But behind the scenes, he obviously wasn't. No. I suppose. Well, he's paying for it. And some of the people that he'd abused. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. rest of their lives. That's the problem, isn't it? Problem, yeah. I'm surprised though he only survived two weeks before he went back to his old habits by the sound of it. Yeah. Well, playing with the dark web and stuff. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> All I've done on this butterfly is had a play, really. As you can probably tell. Mm. Mm. I thought I'd, I went to the dentist last Tuesday after finishing here. <laughs> I was getting out the door. I thought, cool, I thought I'd got away with it. Book well, an appointment. You need a fill in. This, this, and that. A clean, a fill in, a do that. I thought, oh, cool. <laughs> As I'm going out the door, I sort of said, cool, I thought I'd got away with it this time. Mm. Mm. Oh, well. Have you forgotten your dog? <laughs> Sorry that you let the dog out. That's all. You let the dog out? Yeah, you let the dog out. Oh, oh. There you go. <laughs> well, that's how. Uh, that's as, bad, as far as I'm going with this butterfly. I've done the background. So the next stage, it's got to be. Fan brush and think up some colour. I'm really tempted to paint um to use the the stick. I'm gonna resist. But because Carol mentioned it, I've got some white gouache here. So I'm going to utilize that with my fan brush, which has gone walkabout. I love these fan brushes. Let's see if we can tame. The Rose Meadow. Hint of blue. The one colour that would work is Bluebell 
Terry Harrison's Bluebell. That's the one thing I forgot. So I'm going to have to mix my own Bluebell. Which is just ordinary blue with some of the rose madder in it. Quite a lot of it, by the way. Mm -hmm. And I'm going in. Take the edge off the brush. I've got two brushes that will do this. One's this fan brush, and the other one is a foliage, one of these stomper. Mm -hmm. brushes they're quite good for that bristle it's bristle isn't it so yeah. that's what you want so something that's bristly that holds its shape and you can just get a random fan randomness about it mm. i think the, the fan brush is my favorite at the moment didn't seem to Need to give me a nice. I'm just going to push it. <laughs> the final curtain. <laughs> <laughs> My friend. Yeah, no, all right. I haven't rang Stephen yet about meeting up at the Blue Boar. Blue boar. Yeah. Again. Listen. Bear cross. Bear cross, blue boar. It's a pub in it. <laughs> there is a blue boar as well. So there is a oh there's there's a blue boar everywhere, isn't there? Yeah. Used to be one in Bridgewater. One yeah. used to be one of my locals as a lad. One in pool. When I was be. a kid, they used to say the women in there had numbers on their shoes. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry. <laughs> That's a bit sexist. <laughs> oh, it was in the, in the 50s and 60s. It had a bad reputation for that reason. You know, it was a yeah. blue boar. Boar rhymes with mm hmm. And. Mm -hmm. I suppose that's where it came from. It's only as you get older, Chrissy, that you suddenly recall these things, isn't it? Watch me butterfly. I mixed up quite a bit of that. I was going to call it bluebell, but it's not. It's gone a bit pinky now. Might be a good um, opportunity to get the watercolour pencils out, Carol, or the pastel mm -hmm. pencils. Yeah. Have a bit of a play around because if you my my um thinking is if you can get the the butterfly relatively sharp mm. then um everything else can be as diffu diffused and mm -hmm. um random as you like. As it's drying, I'll give it a squish. You can hear it. The paper has sort of got a tooth to it where it's sort of drying. I'll just pretend I'm Joyce. Oh, yes. <laughs> you didn't go to um, Marilyn's at Marsham Court again this week? Uh, no. I saw a couple of the, it's Denise and Bill. I saw, she posted a couple of the images, saying nothing. I thought she was still on her world tour. Yeah. Yeah, she's on her, face, on her Facebook page. Uh -huh. We have pictures on there, uh, images. Mm. No, I did look at um, I did look at who was involved in her next holidays, and there wasn't anyone that I particularly wanted to uh, 
spend time with. Charlie isn't coming back next year, so. Is he? No, he's not. No. No, he's he's so busy, isn't he? A bit, especially now the the art groups are. Um, yeah. Back because that's one of his things. He goes around mm -hmm. all over the place doing demos. Mm -hmm. Or always was. I don't know how old he is, actually. He told me and I've forgotten. <laughs> yeah, well you wouldn't you wouldn't believe him, would you? If he whatever he said, double it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a he's a he's a proper it artist. It was a cracking day, it really was. Yeah. I like him. He hasn't posted any videos lately. No, it was a, few, a few weeks, I think, since he did one. Oh, I haven't seen one anyway. Um, right. I'm sticking with the colours and palette anyway. And clean this brush off. Early lunch, early lunch, early lunch. I can't okay. believe I'm, I've done so well. Really. Well, it was, it's never going to be a highly complex. I don't, it's one of those things. We needed a break after all them buildings. Mm. I don't think it's, but no, next week's not a building. I think it's a portrait, a nice one. Well, I like portraits anyway. I think they're. Mm. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, I definitely. Got the building bug out of my system. Good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did that one for David as well, which was I like doing these things actually. Um mm. yeah. Especially the no, I, the bit you know this what I'm doing now with the just using gay abandon well sort of well you if you want if some people fair play you've got to admire their their um Tenacity, dedication, painting all the flowers and the detail and all that stuff. But then you go away and you look at some of those things that Joyce does and sort of impressionist and mystic type things and you instantly go wow it, 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 there's something about that stuff you think oh, well what a relief you don't have to spend hours and hours painting each leaf you can get away with and it's you that's doing it as well you're putting in it's that's the beauty that i think about it it's your well it's impressionism isn't it? it's your impression your i'm putting some darks in underneath the thing i'll put i think there's a nice dark bit there because i've got um, this by default rather than design but because i've got that white goo ash floating around the palette it's melt it's melting the um my dark color down a bit and if you want to put a a straight line if you decide that your um foliage is going a specific way you can do it look for shadows i haven't looked at the original pictures for some time as you can probably gather yeah we can tell that dave oh, thanks I'm worried about that bit 
got a plan for that. If it was pastel, Carol, you could just smudge it as well. Yeah, you still got that. Um, it's an issue. It's a sort of a dilemma of getting water involved because mm. at some point you want, as I say, you want it to sort of blur, soften down. The only way you can do that is like I just did there, put the brush in the water and mm. use the edge of the doodle. What's that around there? The, <laughs> <laughs> this paper I've stuck it down with. It's, some people call it doodle. <laughs> it's just an age thing. Mm. <clears throat> I'm sure all your overseas viewers will appreciate the doodle. My, my, <laughs> my expressionisms, yeah. yeah. I've done it on my some of my astronomy videos that I've done, you know, how to do this for people. And you get, I get it quite often. Oh, it's great, but we can't understand a word you're saying there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Because the American accents don't work, does it? Oh, no. I got the same problem with them. Funny thing is, because they their words but not even on the internet melt into each other. If you get mm -hmm. someone from, and they're speaking fast American, some of the commentators on TV, I can I, I, I just watch the pictures in the end. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's no point. How am I getting it? How am I doing? Mm. Yeah. Don't want it too pink though, do we? Or do we? I've still got a remember last week I said about the the <laughs> the gouache, my little technique with was to take the lid off and dump it in the water and then it soaks soaks in because it was sort of empty mm. or it, it had gone hard put the lid back on and left it and of course now it's it came out mm. in a big doodle <laughs> another doodle yeah big blob <laughs> the doodle. That was my masking fluid day that was quite an mm. education that was <laughs> yeah I've, I've had that <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Mm. Comes out as like an inner tube off a push bike. Well, because I haven't used watercolors for a long time, it hasn't been used, so it's it just gone all hard. But it's still quite a bit in there once I pulled that blob out. Yeah. Well, I've uh, I've probably got more of yours than you have. <laughs> Actually, I think they're all gone now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of them were. Like you say, they they seized, they'd gone dry. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, what you can do with yours is, if you get any dry ones or gone manky, just whack them in with the acrylic. Yeah. Do you use them to tone the acrylics down? Mm. And away you go. Yeah, could do. Don't know about the weather to. Just thinking about my little butterfly. It's got blue on the bottom. I've just been looking at the picture. Yeah, I know. I've not used that picture. I've used the. Uh, mine's in English. But mine's a mix. Hence the reason I used the thing about bulldog and shih tzu, because my butterflies have the same milk. Right. The cross between whatever that is and the reference picture. And. Um, an English red admiral. I've decided to use a red admiral. Mm -hmm. Crossed with whatever that other thing was. <laughs> oh, okay. And why not? 
thought I'd just put a little bit of white under them. Separate. They've got two sets of wings, haven't they? Mm. So um, I've learned a lot about butterflies during the... I know. That's a beautiful painting, isn't it? As you do it, you suddenly spot some... Oh, I didn't realise. Any trouble with using the, um, the gouache on it is it fades back such a, such a way. It's all right. Fingers crossed. Be nice to have a, an easier picture. Still got my dark, so my th my theory was to turn, put some foliage down here. Don't know if I get away with it. Thinking was a bit more brown, a bit more green even, green and blue. Good way of getting the white off the blue there. It's a bit of a grey colour now. Yeah, there it is. White in your palette as a watercolourist is not a good thing. Because it dulls all the paint. It sticks down here. Palm leaves. Hello? Palm, palm leaves. Well, if you're not careful, that's what they look like. It's a good idea. It's, it's a good opportunity if you can to bring the full the, the foreground forward a bit. Put some secret foliage down there. There you go. Helps you can even frame the picture with it, can't you? That one's going down, whether he likes it or not. There you go. Yeah. Oh. Almost do an early lunch. Well, you can be pedantic if you want to. That's a, another technical term. And you can, now once you've got the white on there, you could start drawing circles. Because then it can make the flowers look like a more of a rounded, whether I've got the patience to spend ages doing that. I very much don't. I think the method I'd probably do is to look at the paint that I've got on there and see if I can find a, like there's a little pink bit in there, or lilac, whatever colour it is. There's a little blob in there. So if I put a, a white bit there, it suddenly turns it into a, into a flower in my eye it doesn't really just put some loops on them of course you can do that in reverse as well put some pink yeah oh, i've enjoyed this Yeah, I'll hold it in the brush right at the end as well. Like, like proper artists do, isn't it? How do they do that? It's okay if you're using gouache on watercolour like this because you you know that it's going to fade. So if you go too far, it will dissipate, it will disappear. 
sort of thistly type flower, isn't it? That's what I'm seeing at the moment. Mm. But this could come on for ages. A bit like a weed. <laughs> yeah, sort of thistles, I'd say, like the thistles that you get, isn't it? Mm. But if you just, I'm loath to sit sit around painting every leaf, every flower, it ain't going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, well, okay. I've only used one water pot, one pot of water as well. It's unusual. Burnt umber. Any blue in here? Yeah. Get a bit. So we can get a little bit dark. Fairly bad. Just wonder if I could put a few extra dark bits in. But it's so strong. I'll take the paint off the brush. You know me, I like it when it's just almost dry. And you can sort of fizzle bits of paint on. You know, just get some up. Wish I hadn't said that. I said thistle, and of course they they have that very fine petals. Now I've got that in my mind. I think I'll just add a few of those. You can see it there. There's like little lines coming up. Lovely. That oh, looks nice, Sarah. I'm not going to touch that, I don't know. They're almost touching each other. Mother's Day next week. Mm -hmm. This Sunday. I was going to say, is it next week? I thought it was this week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was um... saying it <laughs> so that I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I was over at um, David and Kat's the other day, um, having a nice cuddle with Brandon. And they oh. said, and I said, oh, I said, because they, they've had colds, but they're, they're not too bad now. But anyway, I said, I've got to come over. I said, I haven't seen him this week yet. So um, I said, oh, yes, we can, we can go for a little walk. Well, their little walk, until they're half my age. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> it was like walking from here to no, I don't know. Here the parks, and I suppose. There you and go. <laughs> oh, but it's nice. We walked to Slade's Farm, and I walked all around the perimeter, all around the woods, all around the velodrome and the cycle tracks. And like, every time we got home, I just collapsed in a heap. Oh. <laughs> They said, are you, gonna, are you coming in, Mum? Where have you got to get back? I said, no, I'll come in. I just got in, sat on their sofa. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> but they were talking about Mother's Day. I said, well, don't, um, I said, don't worry about me this year. I said, you, you got your own, your first Mother's Day with baby this year. Uh, so I don't know what, what's occurring. Oh, that looks nice. It always yeah. looks yeah. with a frame on, doesn't it? Mm. Looks very good. Friends. Lovely. Oh, let's oh. get the right one. I think it's better colours now. It's more like Yeah. I like it. Oh, it's nice. Really lovely. You never get the Sure about the sepia colour. That's not sepia. No, it was just now. Yeah, it the camera can do that. Yeah. You can do black and white, sepia, all different tones. Yeah. And obviously it's a zoom in job. 
Yeah, that's very but nice. That's, you know, it's, I'm trying to find the right... The more of that, a lighter, a slightly toned, slightly lighter than that. Yeah. I wonder if I put the the light on. That might brighten it. Yeah, it's more like that than because um yeah, and I've done flicked it at the bottom to make it look like um sort of grassy things. And I think. Cool, cool. Over here, I've got. Hang on, get me pencil. Hmm? My phone. Oh, your phone. Can't get through to my ears. Mm, just stick Dave Harvey on it. Oh, my pencil just broke. You can find that signature. You're doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, I like that. That's me done. Yeah. So we're having an early lunch. Wow, it's only 10 to 12. Yeah, that's good. But you've done a lot of preparation before you started, so that was a good idea. Yeah, so all the drawing takes time, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, that background, but I've done two backgrounds. Yeah. So I did the the loose wish wash last night or yesterday That's afternoon. Amazing. Yeah. Go dry, and then I've done another one today to add mm -hmm. even more texture. But I thought it'd be a good idea to show that doing those messy ones, then yeah. stone you can still utilize it. Remember when we were doing portraits when we first started doing it, and I was watching one guy. Who, who was using gouache and introducing white gouache um and it, the first thing he always did was got any old color bit of burnt sienna and scrubbed it all over the paint all over the paper to take away the intimidation of the white paper and in a way that doing those backgrounds like that it sort of does that mm. but it, i did it last week on the castle one you can still add, because it's watercolour, I suppose, you, it will show through. You want it to show through because there's interesting bits in there. But you can, if you, subtle, you can go over the top of it and get the best of both worlds, I think. Yeah, I like that. Mm. Cool. Wow. Earliest lunch I've had for ages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> Do you know how many pictures we've got on the gallery? No. On gallery, 501 pictures are in there. Wow. wow. It came up, um, Joyce sent me hers earlier, and I put that on this morning. Um, it, it's It's got like a category, which is like our, our group. And it tells you in brackets how many pictures are in that category. And it was 500. <laughs> then I put Joyce's on, so it's 501. Gosh. Is we there a limit? <laughs> no. Well, there is. How 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 much space mm. to allocate to the the you know the online the cloud directory with all the pictures. Mm. But I do reduce them down. I I because I don't want the the ones you sent me send me. They'll be quite high quality. Um, you know your phones and that they they send some um, bright you know quite high quality data now. The pictures are quite good quality. Well, anyone wanted to copy and paste them offline. Then they can play with them, you know, do what they want, make their own cards. <laughs> I don't know, do a thing like that. Um, <laughs> like I did with that cartoon for Valentine's Day and things like that. But mm. you're allowed to do that for um, for personal use anyway. But so what I do is I, as I say, I I put the your images in a, another 
um, image capture uh, program first and zip it down to about usually 85k which is like a fraction of what it starts off um, and the beauty of that is or the theory is and practice really um, if anyone tries to manipulate it blow if you blow it up any bigger than that it's like ooh, <laughs> it's horrible you know mm. all pixelated and that but mm. now if someone wants to pinch your image they'll do it hopefully they wouldn't do it maliciously but okay uh, you're already painting chris sorry I said, are no. you already painting? No. No, no. <laughs> no. Just concentrating. <laughs> yeah, I think um, next week we're doing, I think it's, um, used to call them beef eaters, but yeoman. We're meeting up next week, though, aren't we? Oh, no, the week after. Yeah. What? Sorry, the next image. Sorry about yeah. that. Oh, We're all going to go and catch COVID. Right, I've got to go. Peter wants me. Okay, like, thanks very much. So, um, see you next week at the pub. Yeah. In the flesh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, where do you get into it? Because it, is it right on the roundabout? Yes, you can't miss it. Yeah. You but you, is there two ways? Road. Pardon? Will you, will you come up Ringwood Road? Yes. We go across at the Mount Batten, right to yeah. the end of the dual carriageway to the Bear Cross Roundabout. Mm -hmm. And then if you turn left and then immediately right, and then you're in the car park. All oh, right, so I don't start to go around the roundabout then. No, you go first left at the roundabout. Well, you'll see the pub when you get there anyway. Yeah, I just wondered where the entrance was. Yeah. yeah you have to have to go left and then, yeah. then right into the car park. Okay. Oh, I could come up Gravel Hill and come along that way if I wanted to. Then I'd be on the yeah. right road. That's quite a long yeah. road, though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, then you're... It's, it's six or one and a half dozen the other, really, mm. from yours. Oh, yeah. it's a proper little adventure, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't get out much. Oh, I know. <laughs> Sad, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yes. Anyway, I'm going to go. Right. Take care. Think. All right, then. See yeah, you next we'll... Yes, bye. Bye, Carol. Let's take myself off. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> wow. Yes. So who's, who's stopping for lunch? Apart from me and Anne and Gordon, possibly. I don't know. I, don't know. I think Terry mm -hmm. might be tempted, but it depends whether he even gets there. But We're going to drag him out. Yeah, I was going to say, exactly what I was just going to say. If he ain't there at ten, by 10 past, we'll go and drag him out. <laughs> we'll send you over a day. Oh, yeah, well, I know <laughs> where it is. Send him yeah, that. He hasn't rung me up. so And Stephen hasn't rung me yet. So I thought I'd leave it until this afternoon, perhaps tomorrow morning at the latest, because invariably he rings me on a Tuesday. All oh, right. Usually Tuesday morning. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I'll look in the afternoon if it messages Stephen Artwood, Stephen Artwood. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see if we can entice him over. Right, I'm going to say thank you and yeah, uh, well. yeah. goodbye and uh, look forward yes. to seeing you all next week. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we look forward to that. Be lovely. Yeah. Take care then. Does that mean we've got two weeks to do our butterfly? You are. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Right. that's true. I we suppose I could there. chuck in a picture next week, couldn't I? Well, well you could bring it to the pub. Show us there. Ooh. I tell you, what, I have got these um, folders. I think I'll put them in the car. And it, because, um, Okay, there'll be my pictures, but they'll they'll give you a, a flipping good idea of how much work you've done over the last few weeks. Yeah, I've got one of those folders now, and I've put put all the ones that I've done on paper in it anyway. But of course, a lot of mine were on canvases. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> in a box for them. The ones that I put on paper are the subjects that I didn't really like. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> if I thought it was worthy of a canvas, I used it. <laughs> Good thinking. Oh dear. Anyway, right. Look I forward to it. Well. So okay. we'll see, you, see you next week, Dave, and see you yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, look forward to tomorrow. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Okay. Then. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. bye. I've gone. <laughs> See you guys. shadows they fell the light of hope in their eyes and in no one far away I still can hear them say thumbs up for when the sun comes up, there'll be beds over the white lifts the dover. Tomorrow, just wait and see. There'll be blue. Sub-dome.
just you wait and see fly away little bluebird fly away